this is the question we're asking everyone on this series, Peter. Um, you know, and it might be that you kind of summarise some of the stuff that, that we've already talked about. What do you believe to be the, the two to three things that, that HR will need to do to really add business value as we hopefully come out of the pandemic? Yeah, well, uh, it, it just it does recap a little bit. I, I think the first is they had a, a point of view on these things. And a point of view means things like um, the vice president over here says people should not work from home because they're just watching TV when they're home. Um, do you have a point of view on that? A point of view means, uh, well, that's an interesting hypothesis. Here's what we know about it. You know, here's what evidence shows about this. And I'm not suggesting you go argue with your CEO. You know, you want to be managing up carefully, which means you're phrasing everything in terms of what is good for the company. You know, uh, and it's not your person. None of this is your personal opinion, and you're not trying to contradict them. You're just saying, well, you know, here's here's what we know, and we could go look at this inside if you want. I can come back in a month and give you a full report on what we know about this. So that's the first thing, is to be able to have a point of view on these issues, right? Yeah. Uh, and the second is, you know, to understand the way they, uh, the way they think. You know, they are for sure thinking about how do these actions pay off in terms of money? And it's not that hard to come up with estimates of that using your best guesses. So I wouldn't be a coward about this and say, you know, that's the first inclination is when people begin to learn enough about finance and how to make these causal arguments is they realize how complicated it is to do it well, which is absolutely true. Um, but if you don't do it at all, then that's worse, right? Perfect shouldn't be the enemy of good. So being able to say, if you want, you know, here are all the caveats to this. By the way, they're the same caveats that our marketing colleagues have and that our operations colleagues have and our strategy colleagues have too. You know, here, but here's what we know. Here's the best evidence on that, right? So being able to provide them with evidence and descriptive evidence is kind of good enough in most of these things. Can you attach a dollar number to these things? Sure you can, right? The first one you want to be able to do, and it's astonishing that we don't do this in many companies, and I've had some occasions where I've asked CEOs if they knew the number <clears throat> and they don't, what's the cost of turnover? Because if you think it's low, a lot of the reasons for managing people carefully go out the window. Yeah. But we know it's, it's not low, right? And the only reason it's low is because we don't measure it very carefully. We just look at the costs of filling a position. Um, and we don't look at that very carefully. It's just the administrative costs, right? Um, but, you know, you can go look at the research on this and see some careful estimates of what it costs. It's hugely expensive. But if you don't know that number in your own organization and your executives don't know it, you are already in a lot of trouble because almost nothing that you do is going to matter if the people at the top think it doesn't cost very much if somebody quits. Let's just churn through people then. We'll find the good ones. You know, a lot of them still believe the Jack Welsh A player, B player, C player story for which there was no evidence, even in GE, never had evidence for that. It was just something that he believed. And yet everybody saluted around that thing, even though it was wrong, right? Um, and, you know, you have to have responses to this without getting into a fight. Just be able to say, well, here's what the evidence shows on this. You know, here it is, right? In this series, we will be speaking to a range of senior leaders who are pushing a data-driven and digital HR agenda. Make sure that you subscribe by your podcast app of choice and also via our YouTube channel for free and regular interviews with the digital HR leaders of the future.